What a finish that is. Oh, he's hit the oh, bar. Yeah. And he's on for more as well. Wow. It's over the crossbar. Huge chance, really. Callum Hill also there, potentially as a left-footed option. But it will be Trice towards the back post. And it's headed across the goal and in. And the Army do have the lead. It's Josh Rogerson. I think he might have given a free kick, actually. I didn't see a flag go up, but yeah, you are right. The goal has been disallowed. Not quite sure what for, maybe pushing at the back post? Yeah, it must have been. I didn't see that, like you say, I didn't see the assistance flags. It must have been something the referee had picked up. Great play from Buick, and Preen might be away. Buick wants it back, actually. Preen's found him. Oh, really good defending, but it might fall for Randall. Randall inside onto the oh, right foot, and he's blazed it over. That's a huge chance. The ball just sort of bouncing around between the two teams. It's gone long, though, and actually there's, there's, a, there's a wrestling match going on, and they've turned it nicely, and a chance maybe for James. The flag stayed down, and Owen James this time has scored and put the army in front. Cut out well. 2v1 that's back there, they're really yeah. taking risks in these areas. I mean, they, they talk about taking risks, that's really risky from the RAF goalkeeper. And he's headed on, and James is coming in there as well. And somehow, I mean, he's got away with one there, Oliver Sinclair. Let's, let's make no bones about it. 23s in the last few years make it through to UK Armed Forces as well. So um, that's what it's all about, trying to provide opportunities for these guys to play regular football, which is not always... Let's charge down, sorry, Bowman's giving it away. And the shot from distance oh. is in, and the Army have a second, and the RAF have literally gifted them the second goal. It is Aaron Moore who's fired it in from some distance, and the RAF have such a huge mountain to climb. The Army are 2-0 up. Here's Preen, just getting a moment away. And a Brilliant. good ball through for Buick. A chance for the RAF, Ooh. and he's missed it. Passed on quite well, but maybe a chance for Hendry. He's done very well, Matt Hendry. Inside, chance for Preen, and it'll come back for Hendry. Oh. And that might be the chance the RAF needed to go in, because with 15 minutes to go and three goals to get, you can't see those blaze over the bar. That's a really good flick, he's onside, Fagan. And a chance for the Army to finish it off, and he has done. He has done. Ryan Fagan, the impressive substitute, makes it Army 3, RAF 0. The Air Force's title challenge is over, and it's all down to a winner-takes-all, Navy versus Army next week. The ball behind, Fagan's in again for a chance for his second. He smacked the post. Really good game um, in terms of his hold-up play. He just hasn't had that success in behind. He may now. He may now. Luke Preen in behind to get on the score sheet. Oh, he's pulled it wide, and that just about sums up the RAF's day and the RAF's tournament as a whole.